Hi, my name is Dr. Taylor Van Wyman, and we're going to talk about how birth control is affecting your thyroid gland. So, this is part of our series. We'll call this number two in uh, reasons why your thyroid are decreased. So, we're talking about birth control. Um, Basically, in essence, what happens when you're on birth control is it decreases your progesterone, uh, which makes you estrogen dominant. So we're going to go over these issues um, through here. So being estrogen dominant is um, a bigger issue, uh, not only because of low thyroid, but other things that it causes. So one thing we wanted to spell right away to start with is um, thinking that being on birth control is some benign thing that doesn't cause any issues. It absolutely does. Um, it affects your hormones and like say if you're estrogen dominant because you're on birth control, so say you're on birth control for over a year, um, you know, you'll know, you see people and we see people all the time that are on birth control for 20, even 30 years. Um, so this situation continues to propagate and uh, compound on itself. Uh, and we'll talk about that a little bit here is uh, why estrogen's a bad thing. So typically you should have about 25 times more progesterone than you do estrogen in your system. Females, of course. Um, so what you have here, this is just an example of a normal cycle for a woman. You have zero to 28 days, zero to 14 uh, is what's called the follicular stage. So during the follicular stage, you have a follicle with the egg inside on the ovary that's continuing to grow and propagate. And then about day 14, your brain sends hormone to your ovary to release the egg and the egg erupts from the follicle. When it erupts from the follicle, the follicle becomes uh, the corpus luteum. And during this next phase of the cycle, it's called your luteal phase. Um, and what it does is it tries to build up um, and capture that, I don't know say capture, but get that egg uh, and fertilize it because corpus luteum equals progesterone for the most part. So progesterone is just that, it's progestation. It's um, your body trying to get pregnant. So your corpus luteum emits progesterone. So that's where you get all your, your progesterone spikes. So if you don't have this corpus luteum, your progesterone is gonna decrease. And that's exactly what happens when you're on birth control. Birth control means that you do not ovulate. When you do not ovulate, you have no corpus luteum, which equals decreased progesterone. So this is where the issue comes in. Like I say, low progesterone equals estrogen dominance. So if you have high estrogen, like say it's bad for the thyroid, but it's bad for a lot of different stuff too. So a lot of these female type cancers are estrogen fed. They're estrogen, um, and you use that as one of the main sources um, to feed them. So if you're estrogen dominant, things like breast cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, or um, estrogen, um, type cancers that are propagated, especially if you have uh, increased estrogen levels because you're on birth control. So that's just another issue, another reason why um, decreased progesterone from being on birth control um, with estrogen dominance is a bad thing. So you always wonder why all these um, cases of uh, cancer are continuing to grow and grow and grow. Well, this is one of those issues and one of, the, one of those reasons. So what you have with birth control and the increased estrogen is twofold as far as um, the thyroid goes. So what it does is it decreases your conversion from T4 to T3. Now remember, T4 and T3 are thyroid hormones. T4 is the inactive form. T3 is the active form. So if you can't convert T4 to T3, you're gonna have issues of low thyroid. What it also does is it increases thyroid binding globulin. Now, if you watch some of our past videos, you'll see uh, information on thyroid binding globulin, but basically what thyroid binding globulin, or TBG is, is the taxi cab that these hormones jump onto to go to different places in the body. So when you increase estrogen, you increase TBG. TBG is basically holding on to all your free hormone, all your free thyroid hormone. So if you have increased TBG, you don't have enough free hormone to work like it's supposed to in your body. So also gives you effects of low thyroid. Now, what also happens, now just being on birth control uh, in general, not necessarily related to the high estrogen, um, is birth control decreases methyl groups. So you need methyl groups um, on your DNA to actually transcript. So what the thyroid hormone does, T3 crosses the cell barrier, goes to the DNA and turns on or off your DNA uh, to create proteins and um, do what it's supposed to do. So if you have decreased methyl groups, you can also have issues of um, decreased thyroid showing up because you can't actually do what you're supposed to do at the DNA level. So let's say you're on birth control 
and maybe you have some acid reflux, some GERD, so they put you on some Nexium or some kind of antacid. Uh, also decreases methyl groups. Um, and there's lots better ways to take care of GERD than that. Um, we'll maybe touch on that later. But let's say you're also on um, some diabetic medication or some antidepressants. All things decrease methyl groups. All issues that could be causing low thyroid. So a lot of this goes into um, why women specifically have more thyroid issues than men. There's just more stuff going on. So. Like I said, this is number two on a multiple, multiple series that we're going to do on why you may have low thyroid. So I hope you like this information and you catch our next video.